Back in the book segment tonight, a conservative group called the Media Research Center recently went undercover to ask some students at George Mason University in Virginia to sign a petition against Fox News. The fictitious petition asked President Obama to approve listening in on private conversations of all Fox News employees and their families. Absurd, of course, but here's what happened. Just so we make sure that Fox is telling the truth uh, and not, not spinning their vicious lies. Do you, do you want to help us in that? Yes, please. All right. I'm going to, yeah. You're going to take a pass. What about you, miss? I don't mind. All right, you're great. Though I hate Fox News. Yeah, yeah well. me too. <laughs> I mean, Fox News so, is the worst. I, okay, I hate them. Oh, okay, yeah, great. We, we, a, lot of, a lot of folks don't like, um, like Fox News. Do you watch it any, at all? I avoid it. You avoid it at all costs. I watch it through John Stewart. As much as I dislike Fox News, yeah. I also agree with their freedom of speech to say what they like. It's all my grandmother watches. So really? Trust me, I gotcha. What's your grandma like? She's old and conservative and set in her ways. Surveillance without a warrant? That's... Well, right, but I mean, it's 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 Fox News. Yeah, so what? Oh, all right, man. I didn't have a comment. Monica Crowley now comes. So just the stats here. Uh, and then the guy who was getting a petition, he was the undercover guy, the conservative guy. He wasn't serious what he was saying. About 16 students were interviewed in 45 minutes. 11 out of the 16 signed the petition to listen in to ask President Obama <laughs> to <laughs> nullify the Constitution uh -huh. when it comes to Fox News. And you say? I'm not surprised by this at all. Really? The left the left 11 out of 16? The left controls academia, the culture, and the news media. This is a bunch of college kids. Are you kidding me? They are so far left. Well, so the results don't scare me, but what scares me is that so many of them, with the exception of that one kid that we saw there, saying, oh, that's a bridge too far for me, you know, throwing out the Constitution. Well, there were two. There were two students two, who walked okay. away. But with those two exceptions, everybody else seemed ready to throw the First Amendment out the window. I think that's a very dangerous place for America. Well, out of the 16, Combs, three students actually told uh, the undercover guy, hey, you're out of line. Found and you got 11 out of 16 signing in a petition it's to not illegally a eavesdrop? Poll. You got 11 people in 45 minutes to say something stupid, so that proves that the out educational system... Out of 16. <laughs> yeah. 11 right. out, that I may be a pattern. All right. So that proves that the entire educational system is too far left, and these kids grew up as a bunch of liberal goons no, no, who, uh, but, loons who, who uh, don't me, know what they're talking about. Let me make a about. bigger point. And welcome back to Hannity Time to reveal the video of the day. And tonight, you, the viewers, have chosen the clip of college students signing a fake petition to spy on Fox News and their families. Now, the outrageous video comes to us courtesy of our friends at the Media Research Center, who sent a reporter disguised as a liberal Fox News hater to George Mason University. Take a look at this. We actually want to make it legal for them to perform surveillance on Fox News emails and, uh, and telephone calls. We feel they're that big of a danger to the country. Holding Fox News accountable. Accountability is fun. Can you can you help us out? Of course. Awesome. Hey everybody, please. You know what I call them? I call them I call them Fox Noise. Fox. <laughs> we feel that Fox News is a national and uh, security threat, an economic security threat. Oh great, thank you. Be awesome. As much as I dislike Fox News, yeah. I also agree with their freedom of speech to say what they like. Yeah, I'm really clever. I'm always coming up with names like Fox Noise or or Fix News. Uh, yeah. Fix News. <laughs> Do you watch John Stewart? Ah, uh, yeah. I love John Stewart. Yeah, exactly. He's the yeah. best. He's like one of the best. Um, he's like the greatest like newsman at, since Walter Cronkite. That crazy mm. Sean Hannity. Yes. That guy. Thanks, Jerry. I say sanity, not Hannity. That's what I say. <laughs> Later. Really? Oh, well. They'll sign anything.